हेलो एंड वेलकम गाइज एंड वेलकम टू दिस शॉर्ट व्लॉग एंड येस वेरी वेरी फ्यू डेज टू गो फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन नाउ I hope and pray that you are all set for examination. I hope and pray that you have all prepared really well for examination and you are really set to rock this paper called CMA. Whether you are in intermediate, final, or foundation, all three levels, irrespective of that. Now, guys, is the last few hours, last few days, last few moments which are left before your examination. So yes, of course, I have been guiding you all through how the preparations are required to be done, and I'm sure that you have followed those. um now basic principles like doing suggested answers like doing mtps like doing um uh, mock test giving mock test papers all those things you have already done i'm very very sure about that but today i am here with a very special purpose apart from your studying apart from your knowledge apart from your technical skills apart from your theoretical acumen apart from your drafting skills or you know computational skills which you uh, show in the examination there are certain factors which will contribute in your a uh, marks and in your examination today i am going to talk about those additional factors those things that are going to uh, supplement your preparation supplement your answer sheets supplement your marks so using these techniques you will easily be able to score few more marks and guys the difference between 39 and 40 is only one mark the difference between 49 and 50 is only one mark the difference between 59 and 60 is only one mark so just a one mark of a difference can make hell lot of difference in your result so today's topic of discussion is how to get that extra edge how to get that that extra score how to how to uh, do something extra that can benefit in our examination and guys this analysis or this um, uh, conclusion which i have drawn is my analysis of giving ca cs and cma all three examination and how i used to you know leverage upon these points and how how they used to contribute in my examination um uh, that is what i'm going to discuss with you today so no studying discussion today no topics discussion today no important topics no suggestions on um which chapters are important which chapters are not important nothing of that sort today i'm going to give you some practical tips on how to improve certain marks in your examination um uh, which can help you attain that desired goal that desired objective which you have always worked for so yes how to score something extra in your examination what are the factors that will contribute to your result number 1 presentation is the key guys during my journey of cscs and cma i have been told and i have been guided by my mentors by my teachers consistently that in a paper which is um, a subjective paper which is paper and pen paper which is a, a non um, uh, you know non um, uh, uh, online paper which is an offline paper which is not an online paper in that paper guys apart from your concepts apart from your drafting skills apart from your english apart from everything there's one very important thing which plays a very important role which is presentation so yes presentation can definitely contribute to your marks yes even if your computation is incorrect but you've presented working notes well you've presented your computation well to a certain extent you will get step marking so to get that benefit of uh, presentation to get that benefit of step marking to get that benefit of something extra over and above what everyone has done presentation needs to be improved presentation has to be absolutely perfect what do you mean by presentation presentation means visually your answer should be pleasing to the eyes your answer sheet should be pleasing to the eyes how do you make your answer pleasing to the eyes guys avoid cutting answers avoid doing this you know whenever there's some incorrect word which you have written many students have a habit of doing this 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 this, this. they would make these circle circle roller coaster ride no no requirement of this roller coaster ride <clears throat> if something has went wrong just uh cut it using a simple line try errors should not come in your examination try that okay but if they have come just use a single line to uh to um, uh, you know cut it that's it no need to do that thing that you know examiner will be able to see my uh, erroneous um, answer so i will do it like this so that he is not able to see no nothing nothing doing the guys because you are not only making your visual appearance of the paper poor but also on the back side of the paper you are making an impression of that round 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 trips which you've done that will be detrimental to your result so do not do that presentation has to, has to be absolutely perfect what else is the meaning of presentation presentation would mean guys if you are dealing with financial accounting and you are making books of accounts then guys your account statements your account statements which you are preparing 
there the lines should be absolutely vertical they should be absolutely neat and clean to ensure that your lines are clean to ensure that you are making your accounts in a um, the proper manner always use scales by a small scale a small scale take it with you in your examination and while you are drawing these um, uh, uh, lines for making the accounts making the ledger accounts making um, uh, any sort of statements preparing cash flow statement or something like that always use scales to draw parallel lines you know many students tell me sir kya fark padta hai marks to aa jayenge na agar sab kuch sahi likh diya to i agree you will get the marks if everything is correct but the presentation will have a lasting impression on the examiner and don't forget that if one question of yours is strong then there will be further questions which will be weak if you want to make a big impression on the brain of the uh, examiner then even in the strong question the question that you have done correct be very very good in terms of presentation so that in the further uh, paper also that uh, examiner has an impression that yes this guy is this guy or girl is really good and uh, he gives you good marks so presentation is the key so make parallel lines make proper lines make lines using scale this is how you improve presentation of your paper some more points to improve presentation of your paper underline and highlight the important words now this is very very important guys suppose there is an 8 marks question and i have already told you for an 8 marks question how many minutes will you spare you will spare 14.4 minutes okay so this this is no benchmark sir um 5 number ke question mein kitne page bhar ke aaye this is not a benchmark page bharna is not a benchmark how many sheets should you fill is not a benchmark benchmark is for a 5 marks question 5 multiplied by 1.8 5 multiplied by 1.8 you should continuously write for 9 minutes for 9 minutes you should constant continuously write your paper that is the benchmark um uh, for writing the uh, paper so during this 5 uh during this 9 minutes when you are writing the paper guys after your answer is over do highlight or underline the important words which you think are important the key points or the key words must be highlighted so that if the examiner wants to quickly scan through your paper and um uh, doesn't want to read your entire question then guys um he can just put a tick 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 on the important highlighted portions and he can uh, do his work in a very very uh, short span of time which otherwise it would have taken him a lot of time so it's very important to underline or highlight the pointers now the question is um, so can we use a glitter pen to underline the answers many girls ask me this question can we use pink red magenta violet turquoise blue color to underline our answer answer is no absolutely not if you are writing your answers with blue pen and i would always suggest you to write your answers with blue pen not even with black pen use blue pen to write your answers and black pen to underline or highlight the important parts that is the combination which ideally you should use so if you are using blue pen for writing answers underline using the black pen and again 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 underline should be done using scale and not by your uh, free hand it should be done by scale use a scale and underline the important parts underline the important words underline the answers underline the conclusions properly so that examiner can uh, uh, you know uh, really catch hold of your answer very very quickly and in a very short span of time he can um, appraise your answer next working notes key calculations and notes on assumptions this should specifically be mentioned in every question now many students tell me that sir it's such a small competition we can do it in the answer itself why to make a working note for it the reason of why to make a working note for it is it improves your presentation i know it's a very small calculation but still to improve your presentation to improve your um worth of your question especially in long uh, questions where the calculations are long where the count heads are long where the statements are long guys over there please please make proper working notes proper working notes required to be paid, made proper calculations should be made in your um uh, answer sheet and a separate section should be there for these calculations working notes and proper um uh, functions and that is how your presentation will improve so working notes key calculations and notes on assumption should be separately mentioned in your answer start every question from a fresh page very 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 important guys very important point i know you all are environmentalist you all are people who really care for your trees really care for environment really care for paper not being wasted but guys this is not the forum to save paper this is not the forum to think about environment this forum is to present an answer in the best possible way so if half a page is left from your previous answer do not start your next answer in that particular half a page leave that half a page start your answer in the next page on the next page start every answer from a fresh page why is this stringent requirement um, uh, are you telling sir 
the reason is that when an examiner in a flow is checking a particular question then if the question is starting the next question is starting from the same page he might in a flow skip to um, uh, mark you in that particular question there is a possibility so start your answer every question should be uh, answered from a fresh page then prominently written question number on the starting of the answer very very important guys sometimes examiners get confused on which answer are you which question are you answering so before starting any answer on the top of the page you should write answer to question number 7 yes write it in as many words don't only write question number 7 right answer to question number 7 right like this and it will really benefit you so prominently write question numbers on starting of each answer that is very very important use only blue or black pen we have already discussed it no glitter pens no colored pens anything is not permitted only blue and black pen avoid using pencil also no need of using pencil also but yes some students use pencil for underlining which is okay which is okay conclusion is a must after each answer theory or practical very very important do conclude all your answers whether it's practical question whether it's theoretical question there should be a conclusion section which has a brief section which is a two line or three line or four line section which can conclude or summarize your entire answer that conclusion box or conclusion should also always be there and yes that conclusion should be underlined um uh, properly so that examiner is able to highlight or focus on that particular portion so conclusion is a must after every even if even if you are attempting a theoretical question then also conclusion is a must even if you are attempting practical question a conclusion is a must in both the situations conclusion is a must so conclusion has to be written okay then apart from presentation certain other points guys do not study in the morning hours of examination now guys this is subjective okay if you feel that no no sir in the morning hours of the, when the day when examination is there that morning if i read something then there's a probability of it coming in the examination some people feel that this is a omen or this is a you know a thing connected with them if you think that ways then it's okay but my preference is in the morning of the examination so if your examination is starting at 2 in the early morning or okay you can study uh, you know a uh, late night on on the day before you can study till 2 3 am uh, on the day before but on that particular day when you wake up in the morning do not uh, look at your books just calm your brain just uh, uh, you know relax your brain what is the benefit of relaxing your brain whatever is stored in your subconscious mind to retrieve it to your conscious mind that relaxation will benefit a lot because you have filled your subconscious mind with so much information last 6 months that to retrieve it and to bring it to the forefront you need some time and that timing is uh, you know required and that relaxation is required on the day of the examination so early in the morning so when you wake up in the morning on the day of the examination at that point in time do not study whatever you studied in the um, earlier day that's enough yes you can study till late in the earlier day and sleep uh, till late uh, on the day of examination but in the morning or you know when you go to the center there are certain friends of yours who will be approaching you oh yaar uh, uh, mujhe value of firm ka formula bata de cost of capital ka formula bataiye zara cpa model se they'll be asking you questions like this in the morning just tell them i don't know anything i don't know anything i am not prepared i am i don't know anything ignore their questions do not enter into conversation which will trigger your nervousness that can trigger your trigger your panic uh, button do not enter into those conversations in the morning of the examination last but not all the least a little funny also guys i have my personal experiences with it that's why uh, i am suggesting you this but yes otherwise it's little funny if someone has not experienced it then he cannot appreciate it okay carry some chocolates small chocolates okay small chocolates you can carry dairy milk small chocolate kit kat perk or any other small chocolate with you in the examination hall keep it in your pencil box or you can carry cardamom cardamom is elaichi elaichi dana you can carry cardamom very very small quantity you need very small quantity not you know uh, in in large numbers no very small quantity one or two that's it keep it in your pencil box what is the use of chocolate or cardamom in the examination during the examination the use is that guys soon as you start feeling panicky or start uh, feeling uh, uh, you know um, uh, a little tired because in theory you have to write 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 you are writing 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 and you are very tired after two hours you are really tired you don't have energy to uh, write for the or due to the question paper because question paper is going to come a little tricky okay google questions googly questions will also be there uh, which will zap you which you will not not be able to identify from which chapter is this question there so these kind of questions will definitely be there soon as you feel panicky soon as you feel that you know uh, i'm i'm losing my physical energy now i'm losing my control over my brain now i'm losing my control over my body now whenever you feel this just pull up 
a cardamom. Pull up a chocolate. Eat it. Chocolate has a sugar in it, which will oxidize your body. Cardamom has also got amazing properties of being, um, uh, you know, being able to revive your energy very, very quickly. And guys, within no time, you will see that all your power is back, all your energy is back, and your brain has started working at a lightning speed. You will see the difference instantly because I have seen this difference instantly. Um, you know, using chocolates is my favorite um, uh, technique of curbing panic or nervousness, and even Elaichi has worked a lot for me. It has worked a lot. And why only examination? I'll give you my practical insight, guys. Elaichi has worked for me during my interviews also. So just before the interview, when I'm very, very nervous, when I'm really, you know, uh, not in a situation to speak anything or I'm nervous or my brain is freezing, my tongue is freezing, I used to have Elaichi, I used to have cardamom and that really benefited me a lot. So yes, guys, these were the tips which I thought I should be sharing with you. These are my practical trips which I have uh, applied in my examination. I have scored um, a success in it. And guys, I'm very, very sure that this is going to give you success also in your uh, professional pursuits. And I'm very, very sure that they are going to be of help to you. If you have any such tips which you think have worked for you in your intermediate or your any of the last examination, do comment in the comment section below about what has been your experience regarding examination and what has benefited you uh, during the course of the examination to curb your panic or to be more efficient during those three hours. And yes, do hit a like button on this particular video because guys, your likes are like my fuel. Uh, I, I get energized by your likes. So do hit a like if you have liked the uh, video and do share this video with all your CMA friends. Subscribe the channel if you have not. And yes, all the very best for your examination, guys. Last few days to go. Do not panic. Do not be under stress. Do not be um, uh, worry. Do not be worrying about the result, whatever is the result. Guys, we have to give it our best and whatever is the result, it is on God's hand. We are not going to be bothered about the result. There's no worry at all about the result. We are just going to give it our best shot. So, on that positive note, all the very best and happy studying. Bye-bye.